I am Celis Gravius. My background is not important. From time to time, it is my duty to welcome certain visitors to Morrowind. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septim VII himself, and I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties, instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. You know your duties. Take that package to Caius Cosades in Balmora. Are you the one that boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive at that time of the day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring, family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Darn. Well, if you see it, let me know. It's an engraved ring of healing. I know it's in there somewhere. <coughs> Welcome to Aril's Trade House. I barter for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit. You want a little advice? That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions? Our most popular scrolls? If you want to live to a ripe old age, buy a weapon and as much armor as you can wear and still run from trouble. Buy a spell or two and practice your skills. Don't practice on citizens. We call that foul murder, and we don't like it. But you can kill smugglers and bandits and other outlaws all you like. Outlaws have no rights. Plenty of adventurers make a living from killing and looting outlaws. That smuggler scum down in Atomosartis, for instance. The cave down near the Silt Strider platform. I don't recall using teleportation, what do and you yet want? there I was, alone. Make you look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. That's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for. Protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher, Fargoth. He's come up light the past couple of weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. I know the little fetcher's got one somewhere in town, just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold. If you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. That will give you a nice view of all of Seda Neen. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. This is the seaport village of Seda Neen, Outlander, in the Bitter Coast region. I'm a caravaner, and I manage the Siltstrider port here. Tell me your destination if you're looking for a ride. Or if you're new to Sedanin, I can help you with local services, or any specific place in Sedanin you're looking for. Or if you want someone in particular, maybe I know where to look. What? Yes, I'm Caius Cosades. But what do you mean you were told to report to Caius Cosades? What are you talking about? So you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Yes, very interesting. So. It says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the Blades, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders? Good. Welcome to the service, novice. Now you belong to the Blades. We're the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. These Blades agents offer training. Not free, of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. Look for Rithleen, Tyremalin, and Ninetoes here in Balmora. In Caldera, see Surain Leorian. In Aldrun, see Gildan. Shorvar Horsemouth lives in a hut west of Aldrun. And Elone, the scout, can be found at Aril's trade house in Sedanin. Warrior Rithleen lives two houses south, upstairs. Healer Tyremalin lives two houses south, downstairs. 
To get to Hunter Nine Toes, leave my door facing south. Go right, down the steps, then turn left and head south, looking for his door on your left. Mage Suran Liorian is in Caldera, the next town north. Her half timber and stone house sits between the twin towers of the North Gate and the Governor's Hall. Nightblade Gildan lives in Aldrun, the Redoran district seat north of here, beyond Caldera. Gildan is in the southeast corner of town, in a house to the right of the steps up to the temple. Master at Arms Shorvar Horsemouth lives in a Guar herder's hut in the middle of nowhere west of Caldera. I've only been there once and couldn't give you directions. Go look for him if you feel like a little hike. Elone the Scout can usually be found at Aril's trade house in Seydanin. You know where that is. You arrived in Seydanin by boat. We're spies. We're the Emperor's hidden eyes and ears in the provinces. We watch the Emperor's enemies. We look for opportunities. We make reports. And when the Emperor commands, we obey. But we're only one of many guilds and factions in Morrowind. You should know a little about Morrowind politics before you get involved with any of these other groups. First thing, Pilgrim, you're new, and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon, or armor, or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild, or Mages Guild, or Imperial Cult, or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own. Look for freelance work or trouble. Then when you're ready, come back, and I'll have orders for you. Ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Haspat and Tabalus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult. You'll have to do him a favor first. Probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from Antabolus and report back to me. By the way, Hasfat is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. And I have a few history books in here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. I think you're going to fit right in here, friend. You've won me over. Yes, we aren't trying to make a profit off our fellow blades. Basic skill training is cheap. We give you discounts for higher rank in the blades, and we keep our prices low. But advanced training is never cheap, even from us. Look, to get you started, here's my old Alembic. Maybe you can get a few gold for it or use it yourself. Please, feel free. Talk at your leisure. Yes, I offer training, but only to blades. I'm a blade, too, and I report to Caius like you. You're welcome to use my bed to rest, but leave my other stuff alone, please. What's your story? I have a very simple... Go to Drorain Thelis's house. It's here in Balmora, along the river on the east side. Ask her where the rats are coming from. Kill the rats and get your payment from Drorain Thelis. Report back to me once you've taken care of this. I'm listening. I've got a Please few minutes. Go Welcome, ahead. adventurer. Looking for an equalizer? Something to give you an edge against a superior opponent? When you need to do a lot of damage in a hurry, you can't beat a poisoned blade. Try my inexpensive iron spider dagger and steel spider blade, or an imperial netch blade for even more bite. Ah, well, good day. So you're with Caius, eh? And Caius wants information? Of course, there's a this for that involved. I require a favor first, and then I'll tell you what you want to know. There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Arkingthand. I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called a Dwemer Puzzle Box. Bring me back the Dwemer Puzzle Box, and I'll tell you what you want to know. I won't bore you blathering about history. That's what Caius is for. But if you're really interested, try On Morrowind, the Imperial Province, by Eramanwe of Sunhold. I have an extra copy you can have. What an adventurer like you really needs is a sense of current events. Who hates who? Where's trouble brewing? That's where opportunity lies for an outlander like you. The great houses hate each other. Theft, murder, assassination, secret raids, standard stuff. The temple is trying to kill off a rebellious faction called the Dissident Priests. Ashlander nomads raid each other, attack traders and pilgrims. 
A secret cult is killing off Imperial citizens, all bad enough. The real problem, though, is the blight, monsters and diseases. The natives say it comes from Red Mountain. It's been a local problem for years, but lately it's gotten badly out of control. The Halalu and Telvani have been fighting over Odirniran for years. You can always just wander around and ask for work. Hunt monsters and sell their hides, collect ingredients for alchemists, prey on bandits and smugglers, search ruins for loot. All you need are better skills and conditioning, and knowledge of Morrowind. And spend what you earn on equipment and training. Then come back a little less wet behind the ears, and I won't have to worry so much about you when I send you out on a mission. <laughs> 